What's going on, Vincent Rapisardi, BigBlueUnbiased.com. Thank you to those who like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure to turn the notification bell on so every time I post, you get a notification and you can come join in on the conversation. So I've done a couple of videos on Joe Judge bringing an old school football mentality to the Giants. It seems like a breath of fresh air. Ben McAdoo, Pat Shermer didn't really bring that. The media doesn't really like it that much. Twitter doesn't really like it that much because they like new school stuff. They like where wide receivers run the team, fantasy football stats. They're very pro player. Um, so outside of Giants fans who seem to like it, Twitter, the media, not a big fan of Joe Judge so far. Look, we'll see. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to say it's bad because I have no idea. Wins and losses, that's what will determine if what Joe Judge is doing works. Just like any coach, any player. Doesn't matter what you do. Do you win football games? At the end of the day, that's all that matters. So let's talk about some players. One of those players being Darnay Holmes, rookie fourth-round pick. Now, when he was drafted, he played on the outside um, during college. He played that perimeter corner spot in college, but many thought in the NFL he's smaller. Slot corner will be his position. Well, all of a sudden, DeAndre Baker, he's not playing. Sam Beal has opted out, and Darnay Holmes is impressing people. He's been impressive so far during camp. He had an interception of Daniel Jones last week, showing good ball skills, covering Golden Tate well. And all of a sudden, he's in a position where he may just start week one on the outside. Now, if it were up to me, would I start in week one? I wouldn't. Do I think he could start week one? Yes. The reason I wouldn't start him week one, a young player who has talent, who is shown that he can really be a good starting caliber player in the NFL, I wouldn't want to rush his development um, for this specific team. Now, I do think, I've talked about this in another video, the Giants may be able to compete for the last playoff spot, especially if they do go ahead and sign a Jadavion Clowney, which they won't, but let's just say they did. They would have, it's with this COVID situation, anything can happen, right? Now, do I think the Giants going to win a Super Bowl this year? No, they won't do that. But they could compete for a playoff spot that, you know, the NFL playoff has expanded, COVID-19, who knows what players on opposing teams are going to be available I mean, it's going to be crazy. Unfortunately, this is what it is. But at the same time, I wouldn't rush a young player who has potential. So Darnay Holmes, look, this could be a home run pick by Dave Gettleman if he continues to progress, especially if he can play the, the outside perimeter corner spot and he develops into at least an average to above average starter. It's tough to find good corners. So this could be a home run pick if what we're hearing from camp is what ultimately happens with his career if he continues to progress and becomes um, as good of a player as people are saying that he is. And aside from Holmes, there's a bunch of other young players who are reportedly, again, we're just judging this by Twitter, playing very well during camp. Will Hernandez is one guy who, look, last year a lot of people were not very impressed with the 2018 draft class. They didn't feel like Saquon Barkley or Will Hernandez or BJ Hill or Lorenzo Carter. They didn't feel as though those players took the next step. The thing is, though, those players in their rookie year, they show that they can play, right? They, they show that they have ability. They're not bust. There's something there. Look, they're young players. Things happen. They're going to go through their struggles. They're going to have a down year. That happens. But they've showed that they can play and that they can start in the NFL. Um, so Will Hernandez, he is still a major building block um, for the future of the Giants, right? He's, he's a major building block uh, when it comes to their future and, and rebuilding their team. I say that they're on the next phase. They're developing. They're like a developing team at this point where they can maybe compete, but they're still young. But so far, he seemed to play well. Xavier McKinney, he's getting um, some nice reviews saying that he's playing well in coverage. He's flashing that ability. Um, Dexter Lawrence did a nice job last week, apparently stopping the run. Caden Smith caught a touchdown from Daniel Jones. Caden Smith had a pass rating of 114 when targeted last year. So he's a favorite of Daniel Jones, and he's going to have an impact moving forward. I can tell you that, especially with Evan Ingram. So that's what I want to talk about now. So Evan Ingram, Joe Judge says that he loves the way that he practices, that Evan Ingram brings an attention to detail, which for a player as talented as Evan Ingram, I mean, that's that's huge praise. It's not just, oh, he's talented. It's he pays attention to things, and he practices very well, and he practices hard. So Evan Ingram, I, I saw a video um, a couple of weeks ago, seems to be back, obviously had um, foot surgery, he seems to be back and he looks good running routes, but he also looks thinner. So I'm interested to see if they use him in more of a slot receiver type role, which is something he um, played a lot of in college, played a little bit more of back in 2018 when he had his best season. Last year, fewer snaps in the slot and the perimeter. 
he played more of a traditional tight end, whereas in 2018, he played more of a slot and perimeter receiver role. I've done a YouTube video on that. So I'm thinking maybe they have something um, with Caden Smith now developing into what seems to be a good um, receiving option, uh, a legitimate receiving option for Daniel Jones. Maybe all of a sudden Evan Ingram transitions more into a wide receiver. I'm not saying he can't be a tight end at all. Obviously, he could still be used in that role, but he's a small tight end, literally. Literally like the smallest tight end in the NFL. Um, and he might actually be smaller now. Like I said, he looks a little bit skinnier. He looks a little bit uh, thinner. So I think it would be best if he played more of a wide receiver role. But so far, he is he's getting high praise from Joe Judge. He's getting high praise from Joe Judge, and he's he's a big part to their offense, a very talented pass catcher. So that's all I got. Vincent Rappasardi, BigBlueUnbiased.com. Thank you for those who continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Vince Rappasardi and turn notifications on. Thanks again, Vincent Rappasardi, BigBlueUnbiased.com.